Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. that's not gonna end well. Jesse Love trying to hold on to it. Jesse Ooh. Love. Big impact Jim there. Shot up to 12th and now significant damage to that 27. The impact right here. It might have been Andy J. maybe. This is the tightest corner. Another look at it here. Yep, Andy J. just behind the 20. Coming in, I, I would say Jesse Love was probably the favorite. Oh yeah, he's not out of it he's by a long shot. Yeah, he's style of racing. You never know the names that are gonna shuffle up. Oh. We have trouble, Connor Mosack. Big name through the grass. Here. Goes around our pole rolling sitter. Here, rolling straight. There's nothing coming out back. Get out of the grass, it's wet. Keep rolling it out of the grass. As you heard him say, it's wet, it rained here last That's night. That's great heads up info by the spotter there too. Wet grass, being able to get in and out. Yeah, keep it going. Keep really it. fortunate oh. the valence on that car didn't get ripped off. That's the one. Sam oh, Mayer's oh, never oh, won oh, in the Xfinity oh, Series. There goes oh, the one really to the outside of his teammate. Through the middle of the 21. Oh, my goodness. Mayer is turned. Oh, He's oh, upside oh. down. The caution is out. And now the question becomes, who was, the who was leading at the time of caution? In fashion. He's got his left sides right now below. Yeah. Speedway race at Daytona. The Funkaway Chevy was was solid. And I would say right there. I mean, <laughs> you're, as soon as That's he gets rough. upside down, from a safety perspective, e even though we didn't see the lights, you're thinking caution. I, I think all guyers got a chance here, and 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 who knows how quick they were to rule it and hit the button. The reality is, the caution could have come out before that for sure. Yeah, it's going to be interesting what they say about the seven and the twenty. You know, I. It's kind of like they move down together. Uh, that's going to be interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah, and I guess I'm saying seven. Bro, Chastain and Byron. Gregson on older tires with Kyle Busch. Here we go. Oh, boy. And around goes Ty Dillon. Dillon. A bunch of them. Christopher Bell, Blaney. Al Marol is around. Stacked up right. Oh, boy. Both lanes, too, all over the place. This takes me back to the rule that they've, they've changed this rule. I'm out ahead on this one. They're all pretty darn good. Going to get tight. Oh, oh. Caution, uh, caution. Logano slides to the grass down the front straight away as caution waves. Just running out of real estate. Logano, come yeah. down. I'm going to say he uh, didn't stay on that wall. I no. don't want to put blame on him. That's three cars going for the same spot. Uh, down toward him. But he did, but he has to do that. If you rim right all the way around there, you get tight and put yourself in the wall. Man, so close for Stenhouse Jr. right there. Almost got into him. That would have ended both of their days. I mean, this is the kind of thing we see happen off of turn four here. I mean, this was kind of the same thing that happened last last time with Larson and Bubba, and we saw what we saw what happened. The outside, Tanner Gray tries to get a, above Lane Riggs. Right there, that move from the truck, and Lane just squeezed over, tried to make sure he took his line away, kept kept everyone behind him, and there just wasn't room to do so. You know, we always talk about Lane, or excuse me, Lane Riggs just moved up, and there wasn't room there. At the time, Christian Eckes, it's nice and calm out front, but not so much back in the pack. Problems for the limits. Blue 51 outside lane, oh, pushing the eight, and there go. goes Justin Allgaier. Teammates. Into the wall. Hmm. Oh, it's, it's, it's a tough one, man. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I feel like they they down for the eighth time on the uh, front stretch. Oh, Dean Tucker, oh. oh, and a big hit after he had already come to a stop on the racetrack. Four different trucks collected there. See, there's ten or twelve trucks heading that way, and the caution comes out immediately. But look, look at he's all hidden behind a cloud of smoke. Yeah. You can't see where you're going on the racetrack. And now then, there's a lot of smoke. Looks like Matt Mills is the first one that gets there. Mills. Looks like Trey Hutchins turned right to try to avoid the five. See if we can get another view of it. There he is in the outside wall. He bounced off the wall in the anchor pretty hard as well. And you got to make a decision. Is he going to go low or is he going to go high? And everybody ahead of Mills went low, and he elected to do that as well, but the hole closed up. Yeah, and when Matt hit him, it pushed him to the outside. That's why Trey Hutchins, the 14, wasn't able to get by. Look at this mess. You see two trucks go right through the grass, kick up all the grass right there. <sighs> what a hit. Ankrum has a lot of damage, too. We, we saw him hit the outside wall coming off four. They also hit the wall just past the start-finish line. This, there's Ankrum hitting the wall again. Wow. You can hear it. 
And Matt, it how violent this is. You can see the truck sneaking by on the bottom. I think Matt Mills probably changed his mind. He didn't think he could fit through the bottom and tried to go high, but with all the dirt on the track fill, his truck just simply wouldn't. And they touch, they touch. Nick Sanchez gets sideways. He wrecks. The 38 Zane Smith goes around. Yeah, and Car like, I'll, I'll see right here. Like, they hit pretty good. And I was trying to push, and he was sideways, so the second he crossed back up, I mean, I was coming so much faster. And he's sideways, so the second I touched him, he went around. So I didn't mean to tear up any race cars. I'm sorry. Uh, but I just, I wasn't expecting that to happen. So this. The race here. That's Suarez. Okay, Suarez out the front of, uh, I Josh think Berry. that was, well, Chris Busher. Ooh. Man, big contact with Barry into check. Oh, big contact here There's in the, the back. The 38 gets hit in a right rear. 35, Patrick Emmerling. Oh, big contact There's here in the, the back. The 38 gets hit in a right. Let's see what happens. It happens, I think, towards the middle of the pack here on the top side, I believe. Oh, or in the middle. Oh, wow. 24 gets hooked into the 31, who comes up and gets into Anthony Alfredo. Brown reminded me a little bit of last year's season opener at Daytona. On in here, you should just go oh, by Junior, and there's trouble it. again. Three oh, to go on the stage. Oh, my goodness. And a major hit oh. for Dexter Stacy. Blaine Perkins with huge damage. He hit the end of the wall, Joe. He Great where he kicks buttons. out like that. So we're going to see a spin from the middle, the 66. He's going to come down and hit the inside wall very, very hard. And this is where the, the wall kicks out right there. And he that, that shot doesn't do justice. And look at this car. Barrel rolling down the back stretch. And that wasn't the half of it. By the way, Dexter Stacy has also climbed from his race car. So this is Blaine Perkins. You see he's going to get hit. The car's going to catch the air, land right here on the roof, and here comes the barrel roll. Right when you get sideways like that, it starts to bite, and then off it goes. And at this point, you hope when it's up in the air that it doesn't land on the roof. Look at the parts and pieces just coming off that race car as it barrel rolls down the back straightaway. It's that six, seven times I think I saw that car go around. Yeah, some big some big hits within the rolls, right? The the revolutions at, at that speed usually isn't bad. It's the impacts when you come down back onto the racetrack. Those are the ones that hurt. He just gets tagged in the in the right rear which sends him up like that. And this hit. Oh you see the safer barrier move, Joey. Burton. Gonna be two laps to go when we come around this time. And oh, there goes God. Daniel Hemrick. Off the bumper big rack. of Sheldon Reed. And this is the big one here at Talladega. Oh, my. Got one upside down. Is that Daniel uh, Hemrick on his roof? Upside down. To try to close that gap some. Comes down too late, right? Light, late block. And then kind of causes the big one. And everyone's right there. And there is some massive hits. Mm. A lot of Car City outside wall. I and think pretty Joey, much all the cars behind get caught up in this thing somehow. I think, Joey, the closing rate was faster than Daniel could anticipate. He had just gotten too far out. And that just, it's a rubber band and it snaps back as he's locked the two. And, and when he does that, just mayhem ensues here. And you're going to see a couple combo shots of wrecks, crashes. And the 91 here with a massive hit up against the outside wall, Joey. Josh Balicki in the 91. Takes the camera out. Yeah, here's a, a view of some of these hits into the wall. Here's how Hemmer gets over to 91, takes a pretty good hit there. Riley Herbst looked like in the 98, riding right underneath of Hemrick as he went up on the wall. Chandler Smith got heavy damage. Heading up the racetrack, come up. That's a retaliation. That's which isn't a great move. You hear him trying to. Bump, 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 trying to stay out of it. Tell all sign when somebody's on the bottom and something Damn. there. Or did Kozlowski get into the left? You never know, no. It's hard. 
keep an eye on it here. Oh. Here. You see him get hooked in the left rear. I'm um, excuse me, the right rear. And it was keep an eye on it here. Oh. Great battle up front. There's battles all over the oh. racetrack on the side. Haley Deegan gets a shove. She'll bring out the caution as she slams the outside wall. Right there, right there was just a little bit of touch on the right rear corner, it looked like. Yeah, that totally went over someone. Wow, watch this hit here. That's just all four tires up off the ground. Remember, we saw board. speeds upward to 165 miles. And I think Custer's made the decision that I'm going to stay here. And that Custer maybe gets a little loose. It comes off the wall and catches the two. Turns. You see he's heading down into the corner. You see the right front just dropped. And the car would not turn at that point. So certainly the, the right front's down right there. Now it's never going to turn. He thinks it might have broken a rotor. Well, he was just off pit road at lap 266. So that was big for Denny and he'll have to go back to work. Oh, oh, crash into the wall hard. And Austin Dillon for the second time into the 45 of Reddick. I'd like to get another look at that. It almost looked like Austin didn't know he was there, but but right. That was just a first glance at it. Yeah, I think he's expecting maybe that Reddick's going to be lower on the racetrack. Yeah, that's two guys going for the same. Used to be teammates at RCR. 57, Sammy Smith. Yeah, 77 of Hosevar and the 18 of Sammy. Take another look at what happens. 19's loose sideways in front of his teammates. And they're they're off the gas, like save it, save it, trying to help him, but they're all packing up between behind each other with nowhere to go. That's a car owner's worst nightmare right there. Yeah, got three of them. You see the 77 coming, Mamie Smith. So the 20 here just spins harmlessly down to the inside. There's a big contact. That's going to bend the rear end housing in that 77. And a win in New Hampshire, 32nd, 34th, the two races after that. I don't know he's got damage here. Some light contact with the rear bumper, the 19 of the fence, but third, 23, 11 entry is Justin Haley Fig off. Drivers left. That's out of five and six. Get I was side by side. That's a very part, narrow part of the racetrack through five and six. Logano jumps the curbs and ends up getting contact with Haley. Pushes Haley out of the, in the grass, and now Haley's just along for the ride. Watch as he hits these tire barriers. Those things are great when you hit them head on, but you, when you hit them sideways, it just pulls them apart from each other. We saw on the initial lap, Chase Elliott opting to not do that through that corner. Third caution of the day has come out. It's for Max McLaughlin here as we see so much damage to up ahead it just looks like either rear wheel lock up or wheel hop He's sort of an issue either mechanical issue or just overdrove the entry but pretty hard max making his xfinity series debut that's turn seven he had the momentum now he's got a little bit of help from gray galding behind him and then we've got another issue the 92's around screen right there Oh, the 02 Perkins gets down the racetrack into the right rear of the 92. Pushing and shoving right here. And, you know, cars aren't driving. When you get pushed like that, the cars don't drive straight. And they're just banging into each other. And eventually yeah. they just run out. Look at that right there. Cars all the way in the air. Look like Jordan Anderson, the 27, is back there pushing Perkins and just got Perkins out of shape. Car on the outside, Rick. Yeah, the back. Oh! oh. Oh, big into wreck. the wall hard goes Ryan Blaney off the nose of Ty Gibbs, and the big one happens behind him. It's right there. I'll be honest, I was watching that 54. He had a little bit of a wiggle, but kind of a move oh. where the car looks like it's getting uncomfortable and out of control. Massive. Huge hit. Massive Ryan hit. Blaney. You saw that wall, that wall deflect, deflected, did a great job, but look at all the damage. That have separated themselves. A big push coming now for Harvick. Oh! And around goes a couple cars. Priest upside down. He's barrel rolling through the grass. Ryan Priest 
upside down. Traveling so fast. Right it happened there. right when it got in the grass. As soon as it got in the grass, that's when it started to lift. And then this is just violent. I mean, look at this car. That is just amazing that something that weighs over 3,500 pounds you get in the air like that. It looks like a toy car flying through the air. But as you mentioned, Jeff, 3,500 pounds. Such a violent accident for Ryan Price. Thankfully, lands. That is so scary. Remember, these cars are traveling at over 190 miles an hour. We've seen barrel rolls, but when it climbs into the air, I mean, even right there, multiple flips. Ten. Every Ten time flips. it leaves the ground, all the dirt and everything that gets inside that car, it's just wild how fast that car was sideways and in position to get airborne. I was going to be where Oh, we got a spin on the front straightaway, the six. He's going to hit the inside wall. Hard. Hard, contact. Wow. Hard into the inside pit wall. Brandon Poole from behind. Yeah, down the front straightaway, he just comes across the nose of the 39 car. Now he's in the grass and the car just does not slow down in the grass the way it does on the asphalt. And unfortunately, it turns head on to the wall, but thank goodness no people were sitting on that pit wall or near that. situation where it's a chain reaction. One guy thinks he can get in a hole and another guy doesn't think there's room and things go all to pieces. Battling for space. A little bit of... See Nick just fades to the inside, maybe thinking about going through the middle. Not even sure he was going to commit to the middle. Oh, oh huge hit Van for Greg Van Alst. Oh, oh huge hit Van for Alst. Greg Van Alst. The trouble. And it just turns that 42 sideways. Oh, man, massive, massive impact for the outside wall, the 54 and the three. The three somewhat lessened a little bit of that blow when he collects the six as well, but hard hit. You know, we talk about pushing and how important it is, but Brad Keselowski has caused a lot of wrecks on these plate in these races with this car by pushing. He has been very aggressive and once again, just pushing a little too hard at the wrong time. Car got in the air there briefly. Not good to see. Good thing it did come back down. But that is a difficult place to push someone. In the trial, the car that you're pushing is very light. It's not planted in the ground. Look at that. Good thing those flaps. Straightaway's going to bring out another yellow. Or gets a little loose. I think the 43 was on his inside, and they just came together. And then really came together. Contact made. The seven of Allgaier on the inside. Right right Allgaier is going to win at Martinsville. And they wreck on the front stretch. <laughs>